I'm not going to be on this video too long because the title, the article, the video speaks for itself. Now, I'm going to let you listen to this and then I'm going to give maybe a few seconds, maybe a couple of minutes thoughts on this video. Okay, but listen to this article. <clears throat> Jason Pope is a Florence DJ at the center of a human trafficking case. Well, now WMBF News taking a closer look at just who Pope is. We asked the Florence County Sheriff's Office for any reports that he was involved in. WMBF investigative reporter Samantha Coomer has a look at what her investigation has now revealed. Tell us more, Sam. Hey, Eric, I looked at Pope's interactions with law enforcement dating as far back as December 2011. Now, on December 4th of 2011, a Florence County Sheriff's Office report shows a 13-year-old says she had sex with Pope and then later found out he had AIDS. The minor told the Sheriff's Office she was introduced to Pope by her friend, and then he gave her marijuana and money so she would have sex with him. Six years later, on December 13th of 2017, another report saying a juvenile threatened to commit suicide. Alleging Pope was paying her for sex and blackmailing her to perform sexual acts when she didn't want to. And more recently, deputies were called in May of 2018 after a woman told the sheriff's office her 15-year-old was talking with Pope via Snapchat and Facebook. Deputies were then told by a relative of Pope that he pays young women for sex and then posts about it on social media. Now, these aren't the only reports we found. We have details about all of the reports right now on WMBFnews.com. Just click on the Investigates tab. Live in the studio, Samantha Coomer, WMBF News. Okay, you see the title of this article. DJ Kid purposely infected black female swirlers with HIV. They found out later that he had AIDS, full-blown AIDS. And this white dude was on a mission to infect as many black females as he could. Keep in mind, not white chicks. He preserved his own race, but he targeted black females. Now, a lot of these black females probably looked at him as cool because he was a DJ and he had the limelight and he put on that black swag because he hang around black people. White people may refer to him as a wigger, and it drove black females crazy. Now, what I find really interesting is just maybe this past week, I was listening to a female of uh, this black female on YouTube that was talking about black men and was pro promoting swirling. And she was saying, why would, you know, the black females want to be with, you know, defeated men? Right. They were saying that black men were defeated. The white man conquered and defeated black men. So now that's her excuse to go to white men. But I want to show you something real quick. Looking back on the video that I did earlier tonight on dark skinned black females, who do you see in this image? One, two, three, dark skinned black females. Now, according to an article that I read before I made this video, this dude infected almost 3,000 black females with HIV. He slept with over almost 3,000 black females. The article read that it was like maybe 2,700 and some odd black females that he slept with that he infected, right? So his target was black females. And look, those three are dark skinned black females. Now I'm going to put the link on the bottom and you can read the article for yourself and feedback and tell me what you think. But I don't feel sorry for him. It's unfortunate that they were young. You know, some of them were like 13 years old and, you know, they were underage. Um, and you had this dude and they trusted him because he was white, you know, had that have been a black dude, man, I don't think a black dude would have been able to sleep with that many black females. I really don't think so. They would have found reasons not to be with him, but they trusted this white dude solely because of who he was. And they felt that white men are more romantic. They're a lot nicer. They treat black women like Queens, but look what this black, this white dude this DJ 
did to the black queens. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time, I'm fearless.